question. Bill Brook. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm proud of my constituents who are coming forward to offer as much help as possible. I'm proud of the Prime Minister in the way that he's leading the world, but the Home Office is cutting off their legs, and it is simply not good enough. Mr, Speak Mr Deputy Speaker, does the Home Office recognise that this is a war of the likes that's not been seen for 80 years in Europe? We don't want to stand in this House and listen to plans and processes. We want dates, we want action, and the Home Office must react far more quickly than it's doing and get to the point of hubs of people, get them processed and get them in. This is a disgrace. When the Minister leaves this dispatch box, I ask him to go back to the Home Office and tell them to get a grip. Yeah. As I've outlined already, we're making quite a number of changes. We met officials this morning to push further ones through. We've made extended the, the entitlements and who can apply. And as I say, this, is, we'll suit, this will become one of the biggest relocations of people since the wartime evacuation. Let's just get this into perspective and scale beyond what we've done for BNOs, beyond what we've done over a number of years for Syrians and what we propose to do for Afghan nationals. So this will show a generous side of the United Kingdom alongside the, the support that we have been providing Ukraine more generally and which has created a very strong impression of the United Kingdom.